And hello and welcome. Q Sports International and Predator present the Apex Wisconsin Open. Second stop of the Predator Pro Billiard Series. This is the third day in Baraboo, Wisconsin, where 64 players began playing 10 ball for the $75,000 prize fund. This is a loser qualification round to get into the final 16. The winner moves on, the loser goes home. Alex Kazakis and John Mora. This is George DHA in the booth with joined by uh, Tim DeRuder. Tim, Good hello morning. buddy. Yeah, awesome match here. I'm expecting fireworks from yeah. both players. Obviously, one has to lose and we'll go home after this. Unfortunately, yeah. But to but start things off, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, I yeah, well, that's going to make it even more tense <laughs> because one of them is not going to get to the last 16. Well, here's Johnny. Breaking off 10 ball from the side. Expect the balls to go to the same side he's breaking from when it's all said and done. Playing the one in the side. Didn't get it. Cue ball got kicked down. It's going to end up hooked. Yeah, I'm sure Alex is going to get the jump cue out here. Not a too difficult jump and to get on the two ball. Yeah, caught it a little bit thinner. That's how that one ball got too low. Yeah, there could be a little advantage for John as he ha already had been playing on this table once, this tournament. I don't think Alex played on this table no, before. No, we so haven't seen him. It's a little advantage at least. Well, he's, he understands that it's slicker because it doesn't get played on like the other tables do. There's no practicing on it. And the only thing is match play. It's the only table this gets touched. The balls are cleaned after every match, as is the table. And nice jump shot by Alex. Comes over for the two ball. Uh, the three ball does go by the four to the side pocket. And this lays out pretty nicely. They probably use two rails to come right at the eight. Yep. <coughs> and lined up perfect. Oh, did he? he I was wondering if he got maybe a little bit too yeah. far. So he now he's looking at, yeah, th the minimum he can do. Come straight into the eight or try to get right by the eight. And try to get that four ball on the side. Well, he will need angle anyways to get to the eight. So if he can cut the four and go around the balls, it should be fine. It's either that or float the three and then go for a four ten. But would you, would you uh, consider that? I mean, it's something you consider, but I think he's still okay enough. Even if he draws and runs into the the the, the bottom side of the eight, I think he's still okay for the four. And that is what he was looking at a second ago. Let's see how he ends up here. If he's got, yeah, he, well, he got good on this. Now he'll go around that six and all the way back up past the eight for the three, for the five. I'm sorry, up up on top, at the head there. Oh, he's got to beat the six. Uh, he uh, will. I think, he will. Yeah, I think he, he can do it. But can he keep enough speed on the ball? He's got to open it up and then make sure he's not on the scratch. Though. Oh, easily done. What a nice shot, Alex. Yeah, that worked out very nice. If he ended up on the rail, that could have been maybe a little bit scary, but oh, did a good job there. Well, there's eight guys waiting for this loser qualification round. Already in the final 16. And we'll go over those in between some of the talking points. Meanwhile, Alex has a little bit of a tricky shot. He'll probably just cut this in, go past the eight for the seven in the opposite corner, since it lays the way it does. Can he beat that eight? He's gonna have to influence it with English. I might just go in between the eight and the yeah. nine. Just put myself just right next to the eight. He's on the rail. You don't want to play with a lot of spin trying to get straight on the seven or even go to the other side, yeah. yeah there is. This way you can let the stroke out but not have to deal with that spin. And Did a good job with that one too. He's kind of uh, maneuvering around that eight, nine twice now. Yeah, so one rail back up for the eight in the side. 
Well, for not playing on this table, he seems to have it down pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. His speed has been pretty good so far. Alex Kazakis is your defending champion here at Wisconsin. He uh, took it off last year and looking to do it again this year. He's got to get to that final 16. He's got a couple of champions waiting for him there. Mr. Fedor Gorst is already in there. And Mr. Joshua Filler is in there waiting. There's also a young man by the name of Sam Henderson that's been a giant killer this week. Yeah. So Alex Kazakis gets the first game on the board. Looking solid so far. Started with that nice opening jump. Good look at John Morris sitting there looking at the table. Won the lag and got to break first, but Alex took it off with starting out with a jump cue and then a very nice run. And there's John Lehman, our head referee. Giving the best rack possible with that Predator arrow rack. So Alex not breaking from the side rail. Just going head on. Trying to make the purple four or the, the nine ball. Or anything else, of course, but he's probably aiming to go for those two. I saw him break when he was playing Joven Bustamante uh, in his match prior to get to get to this one. And uh, his last break was the best break I've seen all week. Uh, he made two balls on a break, ended up everything was spread perfect lane in front of a pocket. I mean, you could have just said, you could have just wished all the balls in and they'd fall right in. Well, difficult opening shot here. Could go for the cut on the one and hold it, but it's really sensitive. Otherwise, I'll expect him to go for distance. No. He went for cover. And here comes that jump cue again. And actually, he can just jump in and try to stop it right there. He's lined up straight into the pocket. Well, if he, he has to land on top of the one ball anyway, so if he lands just right on the bottom side of the ball, the cue ball is going to come back anyways. He doesn't really have to play with draw. Good contact would be enough. Yeah. Alex is a Predator-sponsored player. Yeah, a little fortunate. Tap on the table. But not a, not a bad hit. As is John Mora. They're both sponsored by Predator. Alex has been there for some time. Uh, uh, John, I think, just got signed last year. Beautiful Predator Black. Oh, right in. <laughs> but did he call it is the question. I think he did. I think he did. <laughs> you could see his facial expression going, wow. <laughs> I made that? I was, yeah, like, <laughs> wow, really? Oh, well, it's pretty unfortunate to run into the six. Otherwise, yes. he's, he's dead on the two. Yep. That's probably what the wow was about. Yeah. I had to hit that. Wow. <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's nice when they enjoy their own shots, right? Yeah, I mean, you got to enjoy, uh, enjoy the ride. This looks good. I like this angle he's coming in at. He's lined it up pretty nice. I like the speed he's played this way. Mm -hmm. In case he had made it, he would be on the three. If not, he would create at least that little separation. We'll see the jump cue again. Alex Kazaki is 31-year-old from Greece, an 812 Fargo. To get to where he's at, he uh, defeated Guido Just. He lost to An Guin Tuan from Vietnam and then defeated Elias Adamov and Joven Bustamante. Yeah, nicely done again from Kazakis. Couple good jump shots so far. Two out of three so far is pretty good record. Two out of three, anything is a good record, 67%. He'll 
cut and go back and forth, try to get close to where he's at now. Wants a little angle to come down for the five. And hit that a little thick, and he's going to give it up. Here's an opportunity for Mr. Mora. Yeah, and I think it would be nice for John to get something going as well. Like, if he can get the first game on the board, relax a little bit. He gets good on this five ball. I'm sure he's going to take on this 5-10 combo. I'm not going to go for the run here. If I can get that cue ball by the nine. You don't have to go for the 5-10. Uh, no, the 5-10 is difficult, though. I mean, I could understand if he did not go for the combo. Oh, I but I can also understand if he does. Like, if he's like, well, you know, to get nicely from the five to the six after, it's not going to be easy. I'll take the combo. I can understand. It's a choice. I think combin he's going the other way. But I think combin well, he might. No, now he's going for the combo. Oh, he's al almost straight on it, yeah. I think. He's pretty close. Uh, this gives you a little boost. When you win early, an early game, look how, <laughs> he's well, how intently he's well, looking at it. Always, if you make a good shot, it's going to give you some confidence. And this is not an easy combo. So if he makes this, I'm sure he will get pumped up a little bit. Oh, wow. Well, looks like it's going to come out okay. Jump cue again. Yeah, he played it Alex. with a pretty good speed. Not too far off, but that doesn't count. So the jump cue out again. This time, a little bit more difficult than the other shots. Alex Kazakis is going airborne. Set it out four times already. Oh, nice shot. Wow. Three out of four. Yeah. He's on a roll. Does the six ball go by the ten or is he cutting it for the side? Haven't seen the angle. He went for the side. And just a, just a second he struck the cue ball. I felt like he he had a lot of body movement going on. Like he was trying to well, make it. Let's take a look. Here's a great view of it. No? You see, no? Yeah, yeah. The arm. Definitely. Yeah. He, he kind of wobbled. I, I don't know what it was. Like he made it look very tense, that shot. Even though, yeah, even if he hit it a little bit too hard, it was still okay. So, oh, well. not a great, I mean, the cue ball is a little bit tough here. Yeah. He's going to go into that corner, and that 10 ball just might hold his cue ball up. Progress for the 8. Yeah, needs to go around it, but that was going to be not easy at all. So, maybe another opportunity here for Kazakis. I don't see John going for a bank shot here. He's a great banker, and but I agree. I think I think the safety behind the nine. Who oh, he did call the bank though. Oh wow! I didn't I didn't expect that. <sighs> that nine ball makes it tough. Did he call it in the corner or in the side? The side. Oh okay, I can understand that. Yeah, he went uh -oh. all in on that, but I'm not too sure. It looks like. He doesn't have that much patience at the moment. Like, I would for sure just cut the A to the short rail and get a lot of distance going on and and try to fight myself back into the rack. Well, this makes things easy on Kazakis for these last three balls with ball in hand. Um, if you can't run those three balls, then really you don't deserve to win the game. when they're out in the open like that. And for game number two, Kazaki used to take a two to zero lead, this, this 10 ball. Mission accomplished, game number two. Two zero, Kazaki's over Mora.
Predator Pro Billiard Series Tour consists of 17 events held in the U.S., Austria, and Puerto Rico with a total prize fund of $1.8 million. Upcoming events are still to come. Michigan, Ohio, Puerto Rico, Austria. Yeah, and if you are wanting to play on those Predator Apex tables, we also have the state championships going on in these events. So you can either get to Michigan, Ohio, Puerto Rico. It's all, yeah, it's all possible. Just go to CSI. Do you know? Play CSI. Play CSI.com. Play CSIPool.com. Play CSIPool.com. Everything's be there. there. Be there or be square. <laughs> well, there's also a lot of things on that website, like uh, uh, tournament charts, uh, downloads you can get. Oh, we hit this sweet. Put a little bit more body into it and. Yeah. Made, made a ball, but nothing open on the one. A lot of the fans here from um, the Wisconsin area cheering on some of the pros that they uh, they look to and a lot of the players and family associated with the Wisconsin State Championships. 56 tables are set up in this building of the seven foot uh, predator tables. There's actually 13 of the nine foot. Yeah, he's called a two ball on the side here. I'm sure that's just a just in case plan. He's trying to get the separation going on. He did pretty good, but yeah, was trying not to get closer to 10 and just left it on. John's got a pretty straight shot, but I believe he can he can follow this ball to the rail and come back up. That's risky. It would be great if he can get to that right long rail with spin, but that's gonna make the shot so much more difficult. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like yes. it, it was just that little cheating and then the spin. The spin taking but it off, he catches the rail. Right. I mean, he can't complain about the outcome. Hasn't left the the, the, the short route going two rails, so Kazakis will have to go two rails this way. He's gotta go around that five ball and catch the bottom rail and go two rails to pocket it like you just noted. Kazaki makes up his mind here. Oh, hello, corner pocket. Oh, but has that nine ball tied up the eight? He did. Yeah, he did. But he can use the ball in hand now to make the one run into the eight or the nine and have the two ball on the side. So it's not a big challenge, but yeah, it would have been nicer to be open, of, of course. Of course. Yeah. Does change the lay, lay of the land though, and he's going to run into the eight or nine and stop it there for the two on the side. Now he follows straight down for the three, coming back up for the four, and he'll zigzag the table a little bit up and down. Looks like the eight goes by the nine, so he solved that riddle. Now it's just all the other pieces of the puzzle. John. That was quite a surprise. Does he want to create a mess or does he want to run out? You can create, no. a, you can create a mess by sending that two ball up by the eight. Leave the cue ball just right. on top of the three. Exactly. Awkward queuing, have the five in between. Yeah, so far Kazakis have has just been doing his thing. And John has been slacking a little bit so far. Well that miss on that two ball was a big slack. Yeah, the key shot really. He had some work to do, but that one started it. Man, 
I say around the two can go off the eight. Oh, he was jumping. Oh, oops. <laughs> Kazaki's with a difficult shot to make the two and a difficult shot, very difficult shot to get on the three. Yeah, I think this definitely worked out for John. Yeah. Hasn't really left an easy route. Has to cut the two, find the gap to be able to cut the three. And then how are you going to play shape on the four? Yeah. Like you can't just cut the three and then just see after where you're going to end up. Look at what a pretty shot. Oh, okay. uh, does he get by the seven? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it either. Yeah. I think he can try to kick it to the corner pocket. This is actually a kick that comes up quite a bit in one pocket. No, five ball's pretty much got that blocked. Is he able to mass say around the seven? That would be his best bet, and that's exactly what he's pretty doing. Pretty big chance yeah. to make the three as well if he gets close. Shot clock is in effect, folks, and he hit it full. The uh, players are on a 30-second shot clock. It's two races to four. If they're tied, they go to a shootout. And in the next round, the winner of this round will be in the final 16 and stage two, where if... The sets are tied. They go to a third and deciding set. Unless they're tied at three games, it goes to a shootout. John Mora has yet to be involved in the shootout in his three matches. Uh, Alex has been in two. In fact, the match just prior to this one, Alex won in the shootout. He made his fourth. Um, shot, sh spot shot, and his opponent made the ball but scratched. That was Joven Bustamante. Is he going for the combo or is he playing the cue ball behind the? He's going for the combo. And well, I don't think that three ball goes. Hit a little bit too firm. Might have to roll up on the eight now. He might risk sliding it in. Do you think, or was, will he will he go for the for the carom on the eight? Oh, he's called the three, so he's going to try to slide it in off the off the rail. It's awful tight, but I think it might slide. He's got to hit it perfect. Just barely missed the eight. Oh, straight in. Oh. oh, never mind. We're blind. Yep. I'll blame it on my reading glasses. I don't know what you're going to blame it on. Inexperience. <laughs> <laughs> so five to the side or the corner. Now he's traveling around the five. Yeah, he got there. Oh, this Alex is making this look easy when he when he comes down to the last few balls. Yeah, that's to where he's judging the slide of the tables pretty well at the moment. Well, the only really glaring error, error that I've seen was John's miss on that two ball. Well, like also the safety he just tried to play on the three ball like there's some well only he will know what's you know, what's going sure. on but also in the chair like he doesn't really look p pumped up as well but yeah we all know the chair can be the most difficult place to be in at times third game third win 3-0 when a race to four Alex Kazakis, he plays with a 12-4 Revo and Icon 4-1 uh, butt, Predator butt. He's played quite a few of these events, these Predator Pro Billiard Series. Cashing in six of them. I think he's played eight total events. 
So what about we take this moment to thank our sponsors? That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Who are they? Well, we got Predator Apex, of course, the Predator Apex table right here with the Predator group. Q Sports International, CSI Leagues, make sure you check them out. And our US Pro Beard Series partners are Medaya Light, Kamui, and Rums of Puerto Rico. Alex Kazakis to break off and wreck number four. Eight ball goes in the pocket. In oh, the he's going to like this. That's kind of like the, the the break he made on his last uh, last match. Seems to come with a break when he really needs it. He's got to come between the or around the five. I was going to say between the three and the five. He chose to go the safest route. This lays nice. If he gets on his three ball, you can almost count this. Put this game in the bag. John's not going to be happy in his chair. Well, especially in these short races, you're not going to have plenty of chances. So when they, yeah, when they show up, you got to be there. If you, yeah, if you don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not too surprised if someone loses 4-0, because it could be one mistake. In this case, I think maybe two, but then still, it's not. It's not big, but it's short. And as you said, when opportunity knocks, you better open that door. Yeah, and. He got close to his work. Well, I think he's got just okay. Could play the 4 7 combination after. I think controlling the four ball on that combination is doable if you can get close to it now. I like that four. I was thinking he can, he can, he can uh, come down to the bottom rail and come back up, but he's going to go for the 4, four 7 combo. Or a lockup safety behind the seven. Yeah, it's called the seven. I like going for this. Make make the seven. If you don't get on the four, then you can still play the, the safety. Well, the only problem is that, that the four is going to lay on the rail for him. And the nine ball could get in the way when that cue ball goes by. See, I don't think he can hold it. Oh, oh no, he'll be little, okay. The He's little okay. draw is going to work He's on the okay. four, yeah. He's okay. Little nudge. Oh, yeah, that almost, worked out. Yeah. That's the game winner here. Right there. Alex looking good again to close out the set. And so John will be faced with the task of winning the second one to send it to a shootout. Play it in the corner and stay there for the 10, or will we play it in the side and come around for the 10? I think he will drop the 9 ball in soft. Yeah. Game and set. Alex will be breaking the second set, and we will go to a break and be right back with you, folks. Yeah, stay with us.
near back. There's John Lehman racking the balls, preparing set number two. And we're going to have some shot selections from what you just watched. Enjoy, folks. Folks, hope you enjoyed those shots. John Mora just approached, waiting for Mr. Kazakis, who will be breaking. And the reason for him breaking first on the second set is John Mora won the lag and got to break first in the first set. If it does go to a shootout, the fact that John won, uh, won the lag means he will have the choice to go first and choose the side he wants to shoot to. Well, that shootout is still pretty far away for him, though. Got to win four games before his opponent does. Well, and Alex has been breaking quite well so far. So, yeah, that's going to be quite difficult. But new set, new mindset, you know, everything can change. Reset, and here we go. Not looking happy. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> I think may maybe he's trying to push himself a little bit more. That's, that's the look on his face, like trying to press him into staying focused. Maybe, maybe he's just having a little trouble just being focused on just playing pool here in this arena. Well, he won in his first Ooh. first match here. It's going to be open for him, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, he's made that ball on the side and almost scratched, but got rewarded on that one ball. He's looking at a pretty good shot on the one. Pretty good opening shot. He just has to avoid the six as he goes by it to get on the two. And it looks like the natural angle does that for him. This is a sensitive shot, though. It to, is. To go around the 10 ball and to get on the 3. If he goes around the 10, he might be on the scratch. I like just hitting this with a little bit of inside and going right to the side pocket by the 3 and play it in the opposite corner. Just lay it in there. Nice and easy. He went, he went around and played in the side. He's going to bump it. Oh, uh, he's okay, I think. Oh, little 50 yard line. Yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah, no, I think he sh should be okay at least. You can cut it in the corner and go two rails. It's not ball in hand position, but quite makeable. Ooh. Oh. This is tight. I think we're going to get a referee to watch this shot. Yeah, I wasn't gonna, trying to run yeah. into the eighth, and oh, from here you can see that four ball clearly does go. It's a very close hit anyway. But then nobody's watching. Cubo's going to stop on the seven. Seven might bump the six. Oh, he just 
fired it in. He wanted to stay away from hooking himself behind the seven. Burger logo on Alex's shirt is his brother's place in Greece. He's got a nice little burger joint with some very good burgers, I understand. And that is one of the privileges of using pocket speed on a shot. As it hits the rail and stays in the pocket. Had you yeah. hit that a little harder, John would be shooting now. Oh, and off to another good start here, the second set. Oh, doesn't want to get straight, and I think he's got in the worst position. I don't think he's even got that small angle to force himself off the rail. One of the things I've noticed with players that they really get used to the carbon fiber is they can force this ball off the rail with the carbon fiber, which you probably can't do with wood. That's not the force I was talking about. They, they somehow they're able to bend it and come straight up off the rail. Have you seen that, Tim? Not yet. Yeah, I've seen a couple of players. If you, if you want, you can show it. me later. Uh, I couldn't do it. Oh, I but was going to say I would love to be able to. I don't use carbon fiber. A good friend of mine, uh, Gus Brasino, you might know who he is, uh, uh, showed me. He says with this, with, th with this, with this uh, shaft, you can actually bend this ball a little bit. And it was that particular shot right there. Well, it was a confident strike on the nine, and then this to draw first blood in this second set. Nice break and run. Looking good, Alex Kazakis. champion won the first set 4-0 is now leading in the second 1-0 multiple t stream tables are available on kazoom.com it is pay-per-view and we feature this one for you on uh, world billiard tv and on youtube Sports International is the parent company of the BCAPL and the USAPL. And that's where your state championships come, come from, folks. And the world championships in Las Vegas for the BCA. Big break from Kazakis. Well, this time, it does scratch in the side. He makes two balls or three on the break? Look, looked like the nine ball was tracked to the corner. Yeah. Let's see. The one ball gets kissed and goes right in. And here goes, so he made two. Yeah. Yeah, just get from the three to the four. I think that's the, well, the biggest thing in this rack, though. Yeah. Break-wise, Kazaki has been getting the best spreads. John's ended up perfect here. Just has to avoid the seven coming up for the four ball. I mean, quality-wise, Kazakas have been breaking good, too. It's just that now the cue ball got a little sloppy. But if you look at his impact, how full his stroke was on the break. Oh, he didn't hit this. He had it on a nice line, but not enough speed. Behind the 10 with the cue ball. Nope, he's just going to... Wow. Yeah, I was thinking banking the 4 ball in the same line as with the 8. Just mm -hmm. not leave the combo and then bring the cue ball back behind the 10, like you said. Caught it really thin. Yes, he did. Alex.
Alex is gonna like this. You know what's funny? In a nine ball game, you would send that cue ball right at the ten ball to try to make it because you'd still have shape on the six. But you can't call them both, so you go with the percentages. This is 10 ball. Alex looking pretty solid. Really, uh, the, really the only mistake he's made was that scratch on that break. Yeah. Yeah, not many mistakes. No. High percentage on the jump shots. It's been breaking or making balls on the break has been looking good. And just besides that the speed of the table, cue ball control, everything has been looking very good here. And it shows he's about to win his second game on the board here in this second set. It's kind of steamrolling John Mora here. John's not used to goose eggs. But with given the opportunity, he'll fire back. Homeburger. Is it Homeburger? Yes, it is. Homeburger, home yeah. yeah. Let's see what we have on the schedule after this match. Not sure if there is already. if they already picked a match. I know the next match will be a women lose around two match. At 2.30 p.m. local time. And then I think they have a 5 p.m. match, which is another men's match. Yeah, men's last 16. Right, last so 16. then we get to the extended format. Correct. Which is even better to watch. And then after we have at 7.30, we got the women winners qualification match, or one of them. So a nice schedule coming up. Big break. Yeah, and then again, look at the cue ball. It's just that that three ball caught the point, like both points, but. Well. Just look at the three. Oh. How does that stay out? Well, here's Johnny. All the way down and back. Four ball goes by the ten. Everything's open. And he's in perfect line right here. Wants to stay above the three. So he can slide over for the four ball. And does. I'd like to be close to the eight. That gives him enough angle to get up for the five. He could also cross over to the other long. Not behind the eight. Oh. oh my, that's scary. That was. I don't think he was looking to go that far out. No. Up. No. No, me neither. He was looking to go underneath it. Oh, he, he got next to the eight, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was. <laughs> I use that as a reference point. I, that's the line I want to be yeah, on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, I completely get it. <laughs> I but know. He took it a little bit too serious. Yeah. Oh, this is a good shot, though. Nice stroke. He can use the second rail on the left there to slow the cue ball down and control his speed better for the six. Yeah, can choose to get the angle. If he gets to the center of the table, take the angle on the six and open no. up the seven. He, he could also play for the short side. Yeah. But... Based on the angle he's got here, or at least I don't think the seven ball goes to the bottom left. No. So I think he's going to run into him here. So he's going to go just kind of nibble the seven and try to leave himself a shot for that corner. Oh. Yeah, 
I mean, I think it worked out. You shoot it to the corner with just top spin, go one rail back up. He's got a choice here, actually. Uh, he can shoot the corner, possibly the side, or he can just play safe against the 10. If he's uncomfortable with the shot, that's what I'm saying. You know, just some guys would get uncomfortable with a little shot and having get the cue ball all the way up for the eight. Oh, not John Moore. Not John Moore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, he crossed his line, and now he has to shoot the eight to the other pocket. I mean, it's not horrible. He didn't yeah. get real bad on the eight, but pretty sure he wasn't trying to get to be there. Back in line. Yeah, good recovery. And, of course, it's difficult. The last six games hasn't really been pocketing many balls, hasn't really been getting out much. So his feel for the table was maybe gone for a bit. So good recovery from John Mora. Yeah, that was a good look at that uh, Predator Black 4.3. He uses the 11.8 Revo shaft. Yeah, so Canada on the board. Still trailing 2-1. Now, can he get a good break? Because he's only broken once and the caught the one ball a little thin. Also got too low and not much more happened from there. Yeah, his only, his only break this opening, uh, this match was the opening, opening break. Thirty-three-year-old John Moore. He's got a birthday coming up. I think somewhere around the twenty-fifth of May. Kid's about to turn thirty-four. I think the last time I asked him his birthday was on his thirtieth birthday, and at, at a tournament. Yeah, I'm not too great with ages and I dates, especially dates. I'm yeah. not too great. Well, I just happen to remember it because there was a tournament going on, and we. Uh, you know, we wished him a happy birthday, things of that nature, and uh, and we got a kick out of it. And it just, I just recalled it when I interviewed him uh, the first time he was on the stream. And I asked him some questions about, about age, because I, I like to provide that for the viewers. Yeah, then again, he's caught that one ball really thin. He's gonna have a shot, open shot at the one, but nothing on the break. Will Alex? call this nine ball or just play safe. I'm oh, surprised to nine. see yeah. him still breaking from the side rail because if Alex has been breaking so good from the center, I'm moving to the center. I'm telling you, that, that break I saw when he was playing Jovan Bustamante, I, I'm, I'd, be, I'd be looking to break from there. And he's breaking just off the center and he's cutting the one ball just a little bit so it goes in the side pocket. And he's controlling the cue ball well. Except for that one time he scratched. Yeah, I just figured he'd just go with that. I like the way how he used the eight. Open up the eight, use the eight to be guaranteed behind the six. Mm -hmm. John's in trouble this game. He put one on the board. Needs to put one more on there to tie things up. Oh, what a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Look at this. Now, can he get to the three? The two, the two. The two, I'm sorry. He's got he's got awesome position as well. Look at this. He goes in between the ten and the seven and perfect on the two. Slides by the two, by the seven for shape on the two. I don't think the two ball goes in the side, so I can't tell, really. Looks like he's shooting the two ball. No, he's playing safe. It would not go. Well, I think... Um, Awkward queuing by the six. Yeah, he's going to kick at this two rails. Try to go off the four in the side pocket. He'll hit the short rail and spin the ball back towards the side rail. Or he might, no, he can't go two rails, the seven ball's in the way. He 
is going two rails. He's going to have to come awfully close, uncomfortably close to the seven ball. Yeah, I'm not even sure if it goes. That's what I'm. You know. Like it's like. He's going two rails at it. I I just don't see maybe, how. Th maybe play it too short with a lot of spin, and That's hopefully it still slides. Like it makes that curve. A lot oh. of confidence to go by there. Nice hit. Yeah, it was already super tough to hit the two ball. Nice hit. That was a nice hit. There wasn't much room there. He couldn't hit the center of the ball, but he caught the outside of it and almost made the four. Now, John, probably going to play safe again. He could attempt to cut it to the right-hand corner pocket. And having the three ball available in the pocket, he just might go for this because it's going to beat the five and go by it. He did, and he missed it and gave up ball in hand. And look what he did with the ten ball. He just served up. A nice shot for Alex. Yes, sir. I'm actually quite surprised he went for the two ball. Because there's always safety options and I'm kinda not. I I, I, don't, I, I agree with the shot. I like what he did. I just don't like the fact that he missed it. Yeah, yeah, I know that yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, and but easy I, I, game I agree here. with the shot. I think the shot was there. I think it was on. Cost him. He's down one to three now because of it. But uh, had he made it, I think he moves on to, to take the rack. What I questioned was the fact that he hit the five. He undercut the ball and still hit the five. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you I should have always focused on getting the cue ball out of there. Yeah. Running into the five was a no-go. I thought I thought that uh, if he made the ball, he would just go by the five, and apparently I was wrong, too, because I thought he was going by it. He thought he was going by it, too. Well, John Mora, to get to where he's at, uh, defeated Michael Lee, Jeremy Sose, but he lost to Vitali Patsura and has not had a shootout. And by the looks of this, score on this set might avoid them all together but he'd like to be in one for this set and have a chance to move on to the final 16 two ball he's gonna yep. get there two no, no. It didn't who put the brakes on that ball did you see how that stopped <laughs> So one tough shot, besides that, guaranteed to be on the two, three next to it. Yeah, Johnny's having a little trouble here. Mr. Smooth, a little bit of trouble. Two rail kick for Alex here. Can send the ball by the side pocket and have it come down by the nine ball and the ten ball. Might end up with a safe. Let's call for an extension. Yeah, you got a feel for John Mora so far as well because, yeah, obviously we know how, s yeah, how great of a player he is. And then, yeah, to, to just look at MC in his chair that he's just... He's just feeling not great today. And yeah, John was in a match here. I forgot who he played. He played Jeremy Sose. And uh, he had his back to the wall and he came through. Yeah. So another opening for John here.
ends up nicely on the one unless he disturbs it. He did. He says, how can I leave the, the cue ball in one square inch where I can't make the one? I'm a little bit speechless at the moment. He's going to go kick this soft. He's got to. Pass the side and then play with right spin and bend it back. Or he's going to play with left spin. Ouch. That, that could just be the straw that broke the camel's back here. Everything's open. Alex coming to the table. He's done a good job of running open racks, so. But the only thing he could do here that's wrong is to get behind the five. He's gonna be bringing it back towards the four. He should stay on the right side of the five though, so. Very well done, very well done. for the five. Nothing you can't work with. Doesn't have the option to play it in the corner because the 10 blocks that. So he's going to have to run the cue ball. Did he run into the eight? Yes, he did, but he oh nibbled yeah. the right side, ended up with a shot on the six. And yeah, it was a nice flick. He got a little fortunate there. Now if he can get straight on the seven, stop shot seven, stop shot eight, stop shot nine, well. Slide over slide nine. Slide over nine. <laughs> Stun nine. Not much work. High percentage work. And that was the one that was uh, questionable. The rest yeah, of this I think he's got looks good. He's got perfect. Let's see if he goes around the 10. No, he's too straight, he'll just come. I think he comes right between the, the nine and the eight and plays the eight ball in the same pocket. He looks like he's got too much angle to hold it. Yeah. Well, he just went for the side. Didn't deal with any kind of cover. No, just stay away yeah. from the other balls. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't expect him to mess this up and this to close out the match and move into the final 16 and meet guys like hold on a second yeah so that's it John Mora didn't even want to see the tempo no more so Alex Kazakis advances to the last 16 John Mora is out our next match for today will be at 2.30 p.m. will be Pia Filler and Maite Ropero from Spain. So make sure you tune in for that one. This was George Teachea and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you then. See you later, folks.